I have a vision. I have a vision, a great vision, that someday the human race will unite and blossom to be the beautiful flowers the Creator has created the human race to be. I, I, me, me, you, you, you. you see, success is on the brink of quitting, so never quit. There is always a cloud beyond the silver lining. So, mankind, you ought to recognize that the person next door to you, whom you considered your enemy, may as well could be your friend, if you only extend the hand to build the unity. You see, unity is strength, my brother. And in this time, there's no other thing you need to utilize but the power of unity. The power of unity will bring strength that will gravitate the human race to a point we have they, have they have never reached before. Human being, we are supposed to socialize and utilize all the elements, the ingredients that Mother Earth provide. Mother Earth, Father Time willing, I know the human race will recognize that they are one. The red man, the white man, the black man, the yellow man, they are all children of the same hand. And in this time, I am asking them to unite. Unity is what we need here at home and abroad. In Mama Africa, the power of unity is needed. Now more than ever, let's garner the strength and the wit and the courage. Let's nurture the power of unity and utilize it to get us out of the dulgum we are in. The Willie Lynch syndrome is over. Do you remember Willie Lynch? From 1712 to 2012. Divide and rule. Divide et imperia. It is now over. So mankind, it's time to gravitate to the positive key in your mind. And lock your mind, you see. Education is the only tool that can deliver you from the poverty in which you are in. And when you attend those high university, don't just sit back, come out and expect to be greeted with a job. You have to go into your faculties and create something. You see, when we were going to school, they didn't teach us anything about ownership skill. They teach us about management skill. So we come out and we manage another man's business. That's slavery. That's subtle slavery. We need ownership skills. You see, as owner, then you'll be able to utilize and maximize the power of being a leader. A leader must know the way, show the way, or go the way. The human race, the black race, the human race, the white race, the human race, the yellow race, the human race, the red race, all four children of Jah. We need to unite and come together.